Saraswat cuisine is the cuisine of the Saraswat Brahmins from the Konkan region on the western coast of India. Saraswat cuisine differs from sub-Saraswat Brahmin sects and region. Saraswat cuisine originally hails from Goa, India. Goan Saraswat cuisine is known throughout the western coast of India. Each variation has its unique flavor and makes uses of different vegetables and fruits available in the region. Saraswat cuisine is usually pesco-vegetarian. This community regards seafood in general as vegetables from the sea. They refrain from eating any land-based animals. Lacto-vegetarian Saraswat cuisine Their curries use a lot of coconut, coconut oil, tamarind, and curry leaves and the cuisine is largely influenced by South Indian cuisine. It is slightly similar to Malvani or Konkani and Udupi or Mangalorean cuisine. Their cuisine is less spicy and has less Portuguese cuisine influences than the cuisine of their Goan Catholic counterparts. Human Ani Xit fish curry and parboiled rice, is the staple food of the Saraswat Brahmins of Goa, whereas the regular consumption of Indian breads such as puris, chapatis and parathas are seen mainly amongst the Saraswat Brahmin of Maharashtra, India. Sattvic Brahmin, subsect of Saraswat Brahmins, cuisine is similar to Jain cuisine, which is a strictly vegetarian cuisine that does not use vegetables that are plucked from underground, such as onions, potatoes, garlic, etc. Dishes such as Savalam Ranap are prepared among the Bots priests, Orthodox God Saraswat Brahmins and Chitrapur Saraswat Brahmins. This is followed by most Konkani families on holy days and on festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi follow this style of cooking. On certain days, Mondays in particular, all Saraswat Brahmins eat only vegetarian food. This is particularly true in families whose kulda, family deity, or other family deities like Mangesh, Nagweshi or any other form of Lord Shiva. Various Saraswat cuisine Rajapur Saraswat cuisine This cuisine forms a part of lacto-vegetarian cuisine. This cuisine has the combination of Goan, Udupi and Malvani cuisine culture. Kotkatam, a stew containing at least six vegetables, is popular. Other popular dishes include bhaji or shak made from different vegetable curry and fruit. Bal bhaji, a curry dish made out of drumsticks, USLI, USAL, spicy pulses in a thin watery gravy, misal, USAL topped with fried snacks, tundik, beans combined with cashews, ras, coconut-based dishes, undri. A dish made out of rice flour, jaggery, and coconut, gawan, a special variant of dosa, which is similar to near dos. A taluva dish, humans, different types of curries, karams, vegetable salads, lancha, Indian pickles, and papads, papal, flatbread. Fast foods include mungacho gatha, curried green gram, batadiyak patal bhaji, potato curry, tur dal ras, split pigeon pea curry, etc. Chitrapur Saraswat cuisine This is unique and its various forms have been published in the Ras Chandrika book both in Marathi and English. These are recipes that would have been passed down from mother to daughter or daughter-in-law. It is out of print and each copy is guarded zealously by the owner though at least one upstart has included them in a vegetarian cookbook. The cuisine consists either of curries and vegetables made with ground fresh coconut gratings or tempered beans, sprouts, pulses, dolls, garnished with coconut gratings. However, nowadays, for health reasons, the use of coconut gratings is kept to a minimum. Typical bana, or amchi, as the Chitrapur Saraswats refer to themselves, dishes are batata song, potatoes cooked with tamarind, onions, garlic, chili powder and turmeric, kairos, ground coconut base with spices, capsicum, potatoes, tamarind, peanuts and cashews, suck, ground coconut base, spices and a variety of vegetables like potatoes, nokhal kohlrabi, peas, cauliflower, okra, gashis, and ambits, all coconut based. A pimidi pickle made with a certain variety of raw mango is a staple. Pesco vegetarian cuisine Most Saraswat Brahmins are pesco vegetarians. The inclusion of fish in the diet is not looked upon as non vegetarian. Legend has it that when the Saraswati River dried up, the Saraswats who could not farm were permitted to eat sea food fish. The fish were euphemistically called sea vegetable or Jalakam from Yala Kaya Jal Kaay. 
Oysters, for example, are sometimes called Samudra phalum or sea fruit. A typical breakfast in a Saraswat home may include pez kanji of ukdem tandal, parboiled rice, and lanche pickles and papad. Wealthier homes may serve dosa, idli, in South Kanara, Karnataka and other parts of South India, or saunas, in Goa, along with chutney or sambar. Shevayan, fan or pho or other breakfast foods occasionally served. Rotis and bakris are typical types of bread eaten along with tundak or seasoned batata bhaji, potato stir-fry preparation. Lunch and dinner may feature dot dalatoy and rice XIT, pronounced sheath, in a dork's home, whereas bonaps would prefer ambit with their rice for kalvani. A typical Saraswat lunch would have sheath, roas or varan. If the diner is not vegetarian, lunch may include hoaman, bhaji, tundak, lanche, papad, and toy or kadi. Kadi is made to serve the dual purpose of mukashudhai, mouth purification, perhaps after all the relatively spicy stuff, and jirvan. Digestive kadis include asafetida, bombom, jira, fennel seed. Sometimes the kadis are seasoned simply with caraval and sanswam, mustard seeds. Typically, this is a watery preparation which the luncher cups in his hand as it is poured onto his plate and drinks it before mixing a small portion of his rice with it to eat at the end of the meal. The most savored as well as preferred kadis amongst the Konkani Saraswat Brahmins is the Kokamachi kadi or Konkam kadi. Kokam is a fruit found and grown within the western Konkan coast of India and is commonly used in Saraswat cuisine. Formally it is often said that no meal is complete without Kokam kadi. Notes References Philar, Asha, 2011. The Konkani Saraswat Cookbook. Terra Firma. Mahale, Padma, Sapna Sardasai, 2003. Ishtan, The Best of Gone Saraswat Cuisine. Printer's Devil.